Okay, the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ reveals in Ezekiel 39, 9. Verses 1 to 17 apply for the days we're living in right now also. In verse 1 says, Therefore thou, son of man, prophesy against Gog, and say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and leave but the sixth part of thee. What's happening is he's turning back all those who are not going to side with the beast system. This is preaching the gospel. So this is happening right now between the years of 2010, 2010 and 2017. This is when Esau and Ishmael has made, these are the days we're living in right now, they made the covenant together, Esau and Ishmael. And it's a seven year, it's going to last for seven years. The covenant, they didn't agree for seven years. God is the one who's in control and God's the one who's going to cut it short. Uh, shortly after the seventh trumpet, approximately 2017 Day of Atonement or a few months thereafter, when the seven trumpet sounds and God pours out the bowls. When the bowls pour out, the covenant is over. It's every man for themselves. Now, the I will turn thee back and leave but the sixth part of thee, and I will cause thee to come up from the north parts, come up from the north parts. That means they will rise. They will be demon-possessed. They will be functioning and listening to the, the voice of telepathy, um, um, transmissions and communications of Lucifer, Satan, the devil, and his war demons. And, and they will be demon-possessed by the demons of Lucifer, Satan, the devil. I will bring thee upon the mountains of Israel, and I will smite thy bow out of thy left hand. So God here is judging them. This is a retribution. This is a vengeance of God on, on these lawless men of disobedience. And throughout these times. Because these acts are fighting against God himself. Because if you fight against the Holy Spirit, the children of the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, you're fighting against Jesus Christ himself. Because his spirit dwells inside his children. And I will bring thee, and I will smite thy bow out of thy left hand, and I will cause thy arrows to fall out of the right hand. So the, 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 the iron is the left hand, and the, um, the, um, the right hand will be men, because the covenant it was, it is with men. So they've left their former estate, and, they're, and, and they are cursing men, and men, is, they're, doing their, their, uh, they're breaking the covenant work against Christ through men. So you have the left, and then you have the right. The, the iron and the brass, the iron and the clay, rather. I will to fall out of thy right hand, and thou shalt fall upon the mountains of Israel. This is suicide, because they are attacking, they are destroying, they are murdering the, uh, the, the children of the covenant. Thou and all thy bands, and the people that is with thee, I will give thee unto the ravenous birds of every sort, and to the beasts of the field to be devoured. That is hell. That is hellfire, eventually the lake of fire. Thou shalt fall upon the open where there is no life in the lake of fire. Thou shalt fall upon the open field. This is war, for I have spoken it, saith the Lord. And I will send fire, a fire on Magog, spiritual, these are all the, 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 the souls, and among them that dwell carelessly in the isles. Uh, so this is the, the, the um, chaos inside the, uh, the demons themselves. They're acting out of complete chaos, uh, confusion, they, they have, they, they have, they're absolutely stricken and cursed because they're cursed of God, by God, and they that dwell carelessly in the isle are the ones who act out of the men who believe, who set themselves and exalt themselves above everybody else, those are the islands, and, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Once again, when will they know that he is the Lord? when they're in the pit of hell, when they're in hell, when the time comes upon them and the judgment falls upon them. Because right now, there is no judgment against them. They, they do not perceive the judgment that is against them. When they perceive to know that, the that they're losing, that they have lost in hell, in agony, then the atonement fire of hell, then they will know then they will hear the name of Jesus Christ there also. So I will make my holy name known in the midst of my people. This is the seventh day. This is verse 7. This is the, the, lake, this is the marriage supper of the Lamb. I will not let them pollute my holy name anymore. 
this is the the uh, uh, the glorious uh, um, reward, the uh, inheritance of Jacob, and the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, it is come and it is done, saith the Lord. This is the day where I have spoken. Entire universe is restored. The government of God is on earth, and they shall dwell in the cities of Israel. And they that dwell in the cities of Israel shall go forth. So this is the fifth generation after the second coming of Jesus Christ. After the white throne judgment. They shall go forth and they shall set on fire and burn the weapons, both the shields and the bucklers, the bows and the arrows, and the hand staves and the spears, and they shall burn them with fire seven years. So this is the vengeance and retribution of God that he's doing through his children to establish the authoritative governing authority of Jesus Christ, the government of Christ, Jesus, on earth. So you have the seven years right now. It's happening right now since 2010, 2010 to 2017. After the second coming of Jesus Christ, because there is no kingdom until after Jesus Christ comes back. Then the world government begins. Uh, the true world government. So they shall take no wood out of the field. They will take uh, no, um, no pastors. They will take no, no leaders. No one to um, stand up and, and, and make a, uh, uh, a revolt, a rebellion, or uh, you know, the, to lobby the government. No one is going to be leading them. Okay? The entire world will be under the government of God. The entire world, uh, there will be no prophets, no, 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 no pastors, no synagogues, no churches. Okay? The entire world will be ruled uh, through love, righteousness, and, and justice. There will be no need because they will know who the true God is. They will know, says it in the Bible. They said, come, let's go to the house of Jacob, because we know that we hear that God is there. We know that God is there. And that is in Isaiah chapter 7 and in Zechariah, I think, also there. So they will take no wood of the field, neither cut down any of the forests, say that they won't hurt anybody, they won't cut down any out of the forest, for they shall burn the weapons with fire, and they shall spoil those that spoil them, and rob those that rob them, saith the Lord. And it shall come to pass that in that day I will give unto Gog a place thereof of graves in Israel in the valley of the passengers of the east. Okay, this is um, in, uh, in the audio. Um, passengers of the east of the sea, and it shall stop the noses of the passengers. And there shall they bury Gog and all his multitude, and they shall call it the valley of Hanan, Haman Gog. So this, this is the, um, the judgment on the gods of the east. The east is the scorching wind. Those are the ones that um, they, the, the east gate, they go into the, uh, into the tabernacle, into the, uh, 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 the, uh, the, the temple of God through the, in the east gate. And they, they, they cause, these are, the, the, uh, synagogue, these are the, the satans that go into uh, the synagogue. And these are the gods also of the east wind. It's a scorching, dry wind. Okay. Because it, it, it's, it once again it enters into the, uh, the, uh, the place of God. In this age, in the last three ages. And then here, this will cease to exist. And God and all his multitude, and they shall call it the valley of Ham and God. And seven months shall the house of Israel be burying them, that they may cleanse the land. This is the sacred year. The seven year cycles are beginning. Yes, all the people of the land shall bury them, and it shall be so. All the people are together as one in the land. They shall bury them. No more murder. No more war. No more killing. Okay? Uh, the Bible says that they will um, trade in their weapons of war for weapons of peace. I put a little update in the uh, video, uh, How to Preach the Doctrine of Hell, in audio, okay, regarding this. And there are some verses there. that I wrote here says Ezekiel 32 also from 2010 to 2017 the Israel not of God Romans 9 and 6 is temporarily burning Jacob in the fire spiritually through front line fallen war demon spirits of Lucifer Satan the devil in man and physically by removing Christian and Jewish military weaponry Jeremiah 21 4 
See Leviticus 26.19. Okay, Leviticus 26.19 This is reading out of the King James Bible. And I will break the pride of your power. I will make your heaven as iron, war demons, and your earth as brass. Those are... Um, uh, that's the judgment. Brass is, the, is judgment, and clay, and the iron is in the clay. I will make your heaven as iron. So that means that uh, the wall here, it, it speaks regarding the wall here. Uh, says that they will be without a wall, and and the reason why they will be without a wall, the wall is 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 the hedge of protection of God. It is the Torah. It is the New Testament. It, it, it that is the in James says pure and undefiled religion is this, for uh, people for um, one to visit the fathers and the widow, and, and to keep oneself unaffected or um, of of the world unspotted by the world. So, in Ezekiel 39, 1 to 16, the first seven years of the fifth age, statement of authoritative governance against its last seven years of reign of 666. So it's cause and effect. So it is a, a statement of authoritative govern, governance, governance against the last seven years of reign of 666. So from the, la the reign is from 2010 to 2017 because God pours out the bowls. So when God pours out the bowls, the rain ceases, and and then there's approximately there's there's the first, the the three days. Then is the time of the of the great tribulation of that time for the uh, for six 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 to be destroyed. They will destroy themselves through the war of Armageddon. That goes that that leads into the day of the Lord. It's the second coming. That so it is against the last seven years of rain. It's a cause and effect that occurred in this third age after the second coming of the Word of God, Jesus Christ. So Ezekiel thirty nine one seventeen is the equal and opposite cause and effect judgments of God against unrepentful Luciferian six plus six 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 that will burn in the lake of fire forever, only to be forgotten. Ezekiel twenty one thirty two. Now, in Jeremiah 21, 14. Uh, Jeremiah 21, 4. This is where we are right now. Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Behold, I will turn back the weapons of war that are in your hands, wherewith ye fight against the king of Babylon and against the Chaldeans which besiege you without the walls. They besiege, they're besieging us without the walls. Okay, and Isaiah says there's, neither, neither, there's nothing that the reed or the palm branch can do. There's nothing we can do. The judgment is on the land. God has decreed this. This is of God. This is not because they are smarter, because they are, they are um, better or anything like that. It's got nothing to do with that. They are following... The works of Satan the devil, God has given him temporary reign. Okay? Satan the devil himself is more intelligent than, than, than any humanity, any human. He's in the fourth dimension. He's more powerful than we are. Smarter, well, he doesn't understand righteousness. So he's not, you can't say that he's smarter that way. He's, he's smarter in being wicked, in doing evil. That's their expertise. Is the expertise of the devil is is spy op operations um, uh, and um, murder and lying. Okay, that type of spy op, op operation. That's his expertise. That's all. That's all he's good at. He is a murderer. He is a, he's, he is a uh, mercenary. He's a professional, and he's the best you're going to get, aside from God, of course. God is controlling all things, but that's who Lucifer, the Satan, the devil is. So he, we're being besieged without the walls. God is closing the age. He's temporarily, he's taking away spiritually and physically the weapons of war. So when Judah in Israel wants to go to war, what happens is the media is against them. Um, no one is allowing them to go to war because they have no, they have no physical backing. 
You see, so he's getting rid of the physical weapons of war. He's getting rid of the spiritual weapons of war. The king of Assyria is ruling over the lands. The king of Assyria now rules over all the weapons of Jacob. And of course, they're getting uh, Satan the devil, uh, they're getting the whole world to worship Satan the devil. So spiritually, they're removing the weapons of war that is the word of God in the land. You, you remove Jesus Christ from the from the from the the government from the law of the land you lose we lose it's because satan the devil is a destroyer he's a killer so if you take away the spirit of god everything wilts the whole creation dies they all we everyone dies including satan the devil itself it's already dead it's the walking dead it's what it is now Further in Ezekiel 39, yes, all the people, yea, yea, all the people of the land shall bury them, and it shall be to them a renown the day that I shall be glorified, saith the Lord. So God is glorified. He's the King, Jesus Christ, and um, uh, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the Word of God. And He is glorified because the whole world worships God. The whole world is chasing after the righteousness of God. Trying to be like, like the, the inheritance of God before them in that glorious city. And that's found in the report, Israel and Judah. And that's in Messages from the Way uh, regarding uh, Zechariah and the, how that city will glow. There'll be no night in that city. It'll be daytime all the time. There'll be nighttime around of the entire world, but that city will glow with the Shekinah of God. And it says here that in verse 14, and they shall sever out men of continual employment. This is what Jane Helm is doing. So you see, 1 to 17 is 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 happening right now with the kingdom of Lucifer, Satan, the devil. They shall sever out men of continual employment, passing through the land to bury the passengers. Okay, those are the children of God, those that remain upon the face of the earth to cleanse it. After the end of seven months, they shall search. Okay, so this is spy op operations going in, 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 happening in the land. This is the entire community, the world's inhabitants. They are uh, searching to see who is not of the world order. And the passengers that pass through the land, when they, when any seeth a man's bone, then shall he be sent. So they're showing their teeth. Okay, those that show their teeth. Those who see the wrongness, the carnality of, this, of sin. Then shall he set up a sign by it, till the buriers have buried it in the valley of Haman and God. That person needs to turn back. And also the name of the city shall be Hamona. Sounds like harmony. Thus shall they cleanse the land. Spiritual. First. And thou son of man, thus says the Lord, speak unto every feathered fowl and to every beast of the field. Preach the entire gospel to the ends of the earth. Preach the gospel. See, the, every fowl and every beast of the field, the gospel of this kingdom will be preached throughout the entire world, and then the end will come. Assemble yourselves and come. Gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice. God is calling everyone in. The sacrifice that I do sacrifice for you. That is the destruction of 666. Even a great sacrifice upon the mountains of Israel, upon the the, the heart and mind upon the soul of Israel, that ye may eat and drink blood. And he's speaking regarding the flesh of the mighty in verse 18. This is the souls. And drink the blood of the princess of the earth, of rams, of lambs, of goats, of bullocks, all of them fatlings of Bashan, the four corners of the earth, the four judgments of God. The four dimensions in the universe that opposes itself and exalts itself before the Lord God Almighty. You shall eat fat till you be full. 
inheritance. You shall drink blood till you be drunken of my sacrifice, which I have sacrificed for you, Jesus Christ on the cross. Thus shall you be filled at my table with horses and chariots, with mighty men and with all the men of war, saith the Lord. God is giving us the inheritance. He's given it the inheritance to his people. The Bible is ultra clear on this. The time is upon us now. These things are manifesting physically. The prophecies are all accurate. The time is now. The time to get right with God. The time to receive the inheritance. The time to be ready. To be in anticipation. Eager anticipation for the revealing and the coming of the Lord God Almighty. Now is the time to declare the favorable year of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen.